Hello, this is my video on AI or artificial intelligence or machine learning type stuff. Um, I based my um, this well, at least this video on a article by Forbes.com. So obviously Forbes is a very uh, reputable um, institution, whatever you want to call it. Or, and they had an article just kind of talking about things that we uh, examples of how AI is found in our everyday lives. But um, other things I wanted to reference was. Um, in a previous um, class I took at UVU, we it was about what was it about? I can't remember what class it was now. But anyways, we ended up watching for extra credit. We watched um, Social Dilemma, and I was talking about social media. And a lot of what that video had to talk about was about the AI that ha that went with social media. So in email, in like Facebook, Instagram, and all the other social medias, there's AI. There's a, uh, there's machine learning and majority of what those have to deal with is what material will convince you to continue to use their product or to continue to be online um, because the more screen time you have the more ads that can end up presenting to you and the more money they make and with email was also they kind of have like um, with machine learning they have like spam folders and they can automatically like sort your emails and depending on what they are uh, for example, Gmail usually has like a promotional side, a spam folder, like I said, and there's also, I think there's another one, I can't remember, but yeah, they so they automatically sort your emails, and then like I said, with, with the social medias, they will learn what you like to watch or see, and they those are the things they're going to put in front of you so that you can stay on the site lo as long as possible, so um, that's kind of how the machine works with those situations, but a couple others that is mentioned in this article that I mentioned um, that I was going to reference to. They talk about Face ID. So on most, you know, iPhones, um, there's Face ID, and most smartphones in general. Um, but that in itself is machine learning because every time it scans your face, it is learning more and more about your face. And like we humans, we change, and so there needs to be a machine learning, needs to be an AI aspect to it in order to continually unlock your phone because if you grow a beard or if you slowly grow a beard eventually your face is not going to be recognized anymore and if there wasn't machine learning involved then you manually would have to rescan your face every single time but the machine learning the AI does that for us all right some other um, examples so there's a lot of like digital voice assistants nowadays so like we got Siri we got Alexa we got the Samsung one, I don't think they're using it that as much. We got Google, obviously. Uh, Google is a big AI in just a lot of artificial intelligence there in general. Um, there is, you know, the it kind of puts in front of you as well, like what what it thinks best suits you. Like for example, whenever I am googling things or researching things for psychology, when I type in a like a simple word like grief it'll instead of just looking up grief in general it'll be like oh what's grief in psychological terms for example so I've noticed that myself so there's a lot of machine learning and products and a lot of machine learning in services um, just to take out the hassle of doing our ourselves and the hassle of um, manually inputting these things so machine learning comes in high demand when it comes to these uh, services and products that deal with thousands and millions of customers. It's impossible to have thousands of millions of inputs per day when we have computers that can do that. So that's our video. Thanks for watching.